What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Evelyn. And today I want to highlight some upcoming shows and films featuring queer lady characters. So sit back, enjoy the video. And if there are any upcoming shows or films I've missed, please let me know in the comments. We Need to Do Something is an anxiety-provoking horror film about a family who seek shelter during a tornado but soon find themselves hiding from something far more sinister than the storm, which I know doesn't sound very gay. But according to IMDb, the family's rebellious teen daughter, Melissa, is not only queer, but she and her girlfriend, Amy, might be to blame for whatever supernatural weirdness is going on. Spot, is that you, boy? It is, isn't it? Everybody said you were buried in the backyard. But that isn't true, right? You just ran away, and now you've come to save us. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? I'm a good boy. The movie looks tense, claustrophobic, and extremely creepy. And I, for one, cannot wait. You can catch We Need to Do Something September 3rd in both regular theaters and virtual theaters, as well as on demand. Why the Last Man is a post-apocalyptic sci-fi thriller based on a graphic novel that takes place in a world where all of the men, except for one, have died. Let's go, lesbians! Let's go, lesbians! Excuse me, lesbians coming through! Watch out! Based on the premise, it's fair to assume the show will be gay. But if it stays true to the graphic novel, there will definitely be legitimately queer characters and not just situationally queer characters, although I'm fine with that too. And if you want to know more about how the graphic novel depicts queer and trans people, The Lesbury has a well-written and succinct review that goes into more detail. You can catch the premiere of Why the Last Man September 13th on FX. Eileen Warnos, American Boogie Woman, is a true crime thriller about the early-ish life of Eileen Warnos, an infamous female serial killer who murdered at least seven men in Florida between 1989 and 1990. I guess I always did dream of being famous. They didn't take no crap from nobody, especially men. Hand over your wallet real slow and drive the hell out of here real fast. <laughs> girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Most of you have probably watched 2003's Monster, starring Charlize Theron as Eileen and Christina Ricci as her girlfriend. And if you haven't, it's an amazing film, and I can't recommend it highly enough. But because Monster is a low-key masterpiece, this latest iteration feels a little like the kids' bop version. Eileen Wuornos, American Boogie Woman, seems like a passable thriller that might even be good, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna get lost in the shadow cast by Monster. Then again, they keep making Ted Bundy movies, so who knows? You can catch Eileen Wuornos, American Boogie Woman, September 20th in theaters. And make sure to check out the pinned comment on this video for more TV shows featuring queer characters that are returning in September. And feel free to add any new or returning shows that I missed. If you watched my lesbian shows you might have missed video, then you'll remember Flunk, the super gay Australian teen soap opera. Well, the creators of Flunk have a brand new series called Flunk the Exchange, about an exchange student who may or may not fall in love with one of her hosts. Little do you know. Oh, uh, hi. Some people imagine things that aren't there. Like they think that someone likes them when in reality that person would never go there. Don't speak to me, don't look at me, and don't come home. But where am I supposed to go? Wherever you came from. Flunk is a great example of a teen show that's actually made for teen consumption unlike my problematic faves. You can check out several short episodes of Flunk the Exchange on YouTube or watch full episodes on Vimeo. White Lotus is an odd show. I almost didn't include it on the list because it's not expressly lesbian, but I feel like it's lesbian in spirit. I also wanted to shout out my girl, Sydney Sweeney, who you might recognize from Euphoria or Everything Sucks. Sydney plays Olivia, a mean girl who might harbor romantic feelings for her best friend, Paula, or she might not. I love it when you whisper. Do you wanna do some ASMR? At the very least, Olivia has an unhealthy obsession with Paula, 
which is gay enough for me. If you enjoy strange, over-the-top, and slightly dark satire, you might want to check out White Lotus. And even though it shares some similarities with other high satire shows, it really does feel like something different and new. You can catch the first season of White Lotus currently streaming on HBO Max. As you all know, I am contractually obligated to talk about Sarah Paulson in every video I make. And yes, I must. If you're not familiar with American Crime Story, it's an anthology series that covers a different crime each season. The first was The People vs. O.J. Simpson. The second, the assassination of Giovanni Versace. And the newest season is Impeachment, which covers Bill Clinton's impeachment from the perspective of the women involved. There's a woman I'm very close to in the midst of an affair with the President of the United States. How do I know it's true? My calls with Monica. Holy sh... Our girl Sarah is playing Linda Tripp and is physically unrecognizable in the role. I cannot wait to watch Impeachment and you can catch the season premiere September 7th on FX. Just to be clear, Level 16 is not a new film release. It came out in 2018, but it's coming to Netflix in September, and the trailer looks weird, creepy, and bleak, which is right up my alley. It's about a group of young girls who live in a very strict prison-like orphanage, and the only way out is to be adopted. But of course, things aren't quite what they seem, and when two of the girls learn the truth behind their imprisonment, they attempt a harrowing escape. I'm going to tell you something, and I need you to promise me that I could really, truly trust you. Obedience. Cleanliness. I need you to listen to me. I follow the rules. Personally, I love a good dystopian sci-fi film with horror elements, and this seems like it might fit the bill. And if you, like me, also have questionable taste, you can catch Level 16 September 1st on Netflix. That is it for the list. I want to give a quick shout out to my newest patrons, Cassie, Jamie, and Amanda. Baby, I still love you more. I also want to shout out my Big Spender patrons, Jen and Angel. Big, big As always, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to let me know which movie or television show you're most looking forward to, and I'll see you in the next one.